Hi, this is Mr. Zells, and welcome to my Apple Watch Spigen Black Thin Fit Case video. Okay, guys, we'll get right into it. I got this in the mail yesterday, uh, and uh, didn't get the check mail till early this morning, so I immediately opened it up and just threw it on my watch so I could take it to work to see how it uh, actually worked out. Um, some surprising things. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know too much about this particular uh, case. It's a snap-on uh, effect, so it's not uh, necessarily gripping all around the watch. So that is something to very uh, well, very well keep in mind. So let me just go ahead and open it up. And this is pretty much the original packaging. Okay. Okay. Put that over there. <clears throat> so in the box, it comes with saying that uh, pretty much telling you, hey, you got a legit product from Spider. Okay. And nothing big. That's pretty much. That's it. That's all that came with it. Believe it or not. Uh, and this is it right here. So you see what I mean about the snap on case? The digital crown goes here, the friend button there, and it just snaps on. Now, uh, my first look on this is like cheap plastic, you know, the, uh, the way it looks. But um, I mean, I could see how it could definitely do its job to protect your borders. So again, uh, and this is my Apple Watch, the 42 millimeter uh, space gray. It's awesome. All right, some little watch face. All right, so literally, you just put it on top like this, and it pops on. That's it, it's on. Now, again, you see how easy that popped on? Now, keep in mind how easy it'd probably be to take right back off, all right? And um, that actually happened to me today. I was uh, working and something gripped aside and it popped right off. Uh, the first time it happened, I almost didn't realize it. I just felt something like come across my uh, my uh, actual hand. And I was like, what is that? And I looked down and that was it was actually falling. So this actually is not a very good, uh, doesn't hold a very good grip. So uh, getting this product does look cool. It does not have a very good grip. So there's something you definitely wanna uh, take a look at. Um, they have the little badging here at the top, at the, uh, well, I guess that would be the bottom. So uh, to show off their product. Um, uh, so, I mean, out of 10, I would give this, uh, I wanna say uh, a three or four because, I mean, at, in the event that uh, something hits this, it's gonna take it right off, you know? But it does look cool. It looks a lot better than the other case I reviewed, uh, the clear one, um, cause that had issues with uh, just cosmetics. Uh, it did protect it really well, but cosmetics did not look too good on it. But like I said, this is a really good case as far as uh, cosmetics go, but uh, legitly using this in an industrial environment, eh, I don't know. But on here on the side, if you guys can see it, get the focus here, give me a second here. You can see it doesn't protect your friend button. It doesn't protect your um, your digital crown. So keep that in mind. Those two buttons will be open to the weather or whatever you bump up against and things like that. Um, but overall, like I said, a three to four, simply because it's not gonna stay on there. It's, it's an easy fix. So example, I plan on getting the, um, what do you call it? The uh, Milanese loop. So they have a, silver version of this so if you're just looking just to change the look of your space your space gray watch uh that might be a great idea to go ahead and get one of these just for cosmetic reasons because how it fits it sits right on top so the loop will come out here and it will come out on the other side and it would look pretty much uh pretty good for that effect to make it look gray so it didn't stand out so uh, uh, please post some uh, comments here and any questions you guys may have about this particular thing Again, uh, I wore it today, and like I said, it popped off about three to four times. And um, at first, I almost didn't catch it falling off, so you definitely have to watch this if you get this particular case. Again, this is the Thin Fit Smooth Black uh, Spy Gen case for the Apple Watch. Okay. Turn it back, nothing special on the back. Well, okay, folks, that's it from me. Please hit like on my video if you feel more informed about the Apple Watch. And also check out my abundance of other videos covering Apple Watch battery life tips, Apple Watch hidden features, Apple Watch Skinomi screen protector, which you can see right here. I'll go a little detail about that. That screen protector right there just kind of covers, it doesn't go all the way to the border. Let um, see. And then, um, see I have on here, Apple Watch uh, clear spigen case, which I was talking about earlier. It's like a clear case to cover the Apple Watch. They're all pretty informative. And I have a few other videos about um, me and my pre-orders and things like that. I also have an off-topic video about buying cars. Uh, check that one out. Uh, that one uh, pretty much covers if you believe in keeping the money in your pocket and telling dealership who really owns the buying power. 
then definitely check that video out. It'll give you some ideas and things you can try to dealership. And they work. I mean, you do control that sale every time you talk to those guys. Just remember that. I'll have more videos pertaining to the Apple Watch and reviews of other Alight products in the near future. So please do stay tuned and check them out. Subscribe if you can. Um, this is Mr. Sells telling you to buy smart and have a great day.